Hey guys, what's up? It's Jackson the Legend here, and today I'm here with another Minecraft information video. In this week's information video, we're going to be looking at the all new Ore Netherite. Now, Netherite is the newest ore added to the game, and I really think it's going to change the way we play Minecraft forever. Okay, so let's head down. So currently I'm in a crimson forest heading down into an, in a crimson forest in a lower level and this is one of the new biomes in the nether update. The other one is a warped forest which it looks very similar to this but everything is blue instead of red. Before we get into using crafting netherite we need to find how we get that and that's through a thing called ancient debris. Ancient debris is a rare ore found in the nether across all biomes. There are two veins per chunk and will never spawn exposed to air, so it will always be surrounded by blocks. Okay, so you can get 1-3 to three blocks of this at Y8-22 and 1-2 to two blocks of it at Y8-119. to There is max 5 blocks per chunk. So you can see its rarity is up there with diamonds. Okay, so when you mine ancient debris, it will drop itself even without silk touch, unlike a diamond ore because that will actually drop the diamond itself, not the ore. It's, it also has the highest blast resistance, so it cannot be blown up. This is very similar to obsidian. Ancient debris and netherite can actually float in lava and not be destroyed. So let's have a look at this. So if I throw this ancient debris into the lava, you can see it'll float right there. So I can pick that up like that. Super, super simple. Oh, and the zombie pigman can as well if it was faster. I suggest strip mining in chunks because once you've found your ancient debris put in that chunk, you can move on to the next one so it can be as organized as possible and as efficient as possible. Now I have found some ancient debris in a strip mine just below this, so let's go and have a look at that. Bending down. So you need to make sure you're at the lowest like water it as possible, and that's why I've got this big staircase down, and I believe I'll get to like Y level 12 or something, or something close to that. Here, Y level 18. And as you can see, we have the ancient debris in the group of three, its highest group. So you can see the strip mining technique that was used here. You can strip mine regularly like this, and just be ready to fill in lava quickly with a block in your hand, just in case, or in your second hand. Or you can do a thing that I like to call safe strip mining where you mine these blocks here, then you mine these blocks here, and then you break this one here and then walk forward. Because then if any lava flows out, let me grab a lava bucket to show you, lava flows out from there, then I can go, okay, this is block protecting me and I can fill it up. And then I can walk through. So either way it works fine, it just depends on how risky you are and how fast you are at placing your blocks. Okay, so you now know how to find ancient debris and you found a few, but you might be wondering, what do I do with this? Well, let's head up and I'll show you what to do with it. So here we have the flow here. We have ancient debris, that goes to netherite scrap. Then those netherite scraps can be crafted into ingots. Then those ingots can be used to reinforce your armor weapons or tools, or even create netherite blocks. Okay, before I go on, on how you can actually create this netherite scrap, let's have a look at the netherite block. Now, this netherite block is very special because it is the only blast resistant block that can be also moved by a piston. So it's like obsidian, but movable. This block will also float in lava and I love the texture that it has. It actually looks like titanium. As well as that, it is also faster to mine than obsidian, although it is still pretty slow, it's slightly faster. So, remember, when mining your ancient debris, make sure to mine it with either a diamond pickaxe or higher. So that includes a netherite, because otherwise it will not drop anything. You'll be able to break it, but it won't drop anything. So now you have your ancient debris. Now all you have to do to create an netherite scrap is grab it out of your chest and smelt it. I'm gonna be, I've got a lot here that I've collected over the, all my hard working in the mines. Not really, I've been in creative. But um, <laughs> yeah, so here it is smelting. It has a reasonably fast smelting time, as you can see, and it's done. So you get one netherite scrap per ancient debris, although it does look like two sometimes. So you've got this. Now you have to make that netherite scrap into ingots. So let's have a look at how you do that. So to create your netherite ingot, you will need four gold and four scrap in any pattern in the crafting table. I'll put that together so you can see that very shortly. But I'd also like to mention that this is the first ever alloy um, ingot sort of metal added into Minecraft. That means it's made out of two metals. It's made out of your netherite and also your gold. 
As well as that, it's your first craftable sort of ingot slash ore that's been added to Minecraft in 10 years. Wow, we've been waiting a long time for this. Okay, let's craft some netherite ingots. Grab out our scrap and our gold and place them like so. Let's place them in any way. Like that, so we need four of each. We can leave a hole in the middle, and then we've got our netherite ingot. You'll, might, you'll have to create a few of these to create your diamond armor. So you've got your ingots now. Let's make our armor and our tools. Now, the crafting recipe for netherite armor is actually incredibly simple. You don't need, say, eight netherite to make a chest plate like you do with diamond. All you need is your diamond armor plus one netherite ingot. And this is the same with tools and weapons. So let's have a look at that. All you have to do is open your craft table, put your diamond chest plate in, and put your netherite ingot, and boom, you've got a netherite chest plate. Now, of course, if you have a load of netherite ingots, if you're incredibly lucky and you found a bunch, you can convert them into blocks like this, and then you convert, can convert them out of blocks back into the ingots when you need to use them, just like all the other ores. Now it's time to look, go over to the other side where we can look this, at the stats of these armors and tools. So there are multiple stats that we can look up, look at when it comes to comparing netherite to diamond because that's a real competition here. The first one we're going to be looking at is durability. Durability is the amount of time damage can be dealt to your armor. So this is whether this is a hit, full damage, um, or anything like that, before it breaks. So you can see here we're comparing the durability of the helmet. The diamond has a durability of 364, the amount of times it can be hit, and the netherite 407. And you can see this with all of the other pieces as well. There's quite a big difference. So netherite has 1.212 times the durability of the diamond armor, which is very useful. Now let's have a look at the increase of the diamond tools to the netherite tools. All netherite tools and weapons deal plus one damage versus the diamond um, sword or the diamond counterpart. So let's just have a look at that. So the sword itself does, yep, does eight attack damage, and then the diamond, the seven, and then same with all the others. So 10, nine, six, and five, except for the, ne the netherite hoe and the diamond hoe which means I'll definitely be sticking with my diamond hoe because I have to say, the diamond ore does look a bit shinier than the netherite ore. Now we're going to be looking at the enchantability of an item or of the ores. So the enchantability of an item is the chance of it getting higher, so better, or more, so multiple enchantments from the one go in the enchantment table. So if we have a quick glance across our enchantability board, you can see gold has the highest and iron has the lowest. Now, the reason why we still don't use gold, even though it has the highest um, enchantability, is because it's not very durable and protective, so we still normally go for diamond. But now with a new netherite ore, it sounds like I'm selling, selling it to you, I'm, I'm doing an ad. <laughs> um, it's got a high enchantability of 15, not quite as high as gold, but it's super, super durable and will protect you a bunch. As well as that, it's actually got a bit of knockback resistance. Now let's have a look at defense points. I'm gonna quickly hop into survival to show you what I mean by defense points. Let me grab some armor. So the defense points is the amount of defense the armor does to you. So you can see if I put this netherite helmet on, shields will appear above my bars. And as I put more of this on, it'll go up and up until I've got a full set. So I have my bars are now full. However, with the iron, your bars cannot be full because it's 15 and gold will even lower with 11 because there's 20 of them. And diamond and netherite both share that. So although they have the same defense points as the diamond armor, we know that the enchantability of netherite is much better as well as that it can reduce our knockback which can be super useful when fighting phantom skeletons or anything like that, especially when close to a ravine or a really high height. But there is something that makes netherite even more special. So let's have a look at that. And that is that any weapon, tool, or armor reinforced by netherite will float in lava. So a diamond pickaxe here, if I die and lose my pickaxe or accidentally drop it into the lava, it'll burn and I will not be able to get that back. But here, we, if we've got our netherite pickaxe, if I drop that like this, you can see it's on fire. So technically that should be gone. But I can just pick that up because it's reinforced with netherite. So I will not lose it. Now, I'd like to point out, I'm in survival for this, that wearing netherite does not protect you from lava. As you can see, I'm burning, and I, hopefully I'm not about to die. Okay, I've got a few hearts left. <laughs> so, with my one heart remaining, that's going to be the end of this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed learning all about netherite. 
Make sure to leave a like, comment, and remember to sub it up a subscribe if you're new. I'd really appreciate the support. And thank you so much for helping us pass, me and Wild, pass 3,000 subs. And hopefully we can stay on the grow and hit 10,000 soon. See you guys later. Peace. And remember, stay carbonated.